Hello, Howell family. This is Prince Kerr, the voice of HC. I hope you're all doing great. Before we get into this video, please hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It will be greatly appreciated. In today's conversation, I wanted to talk about forgiving yourself before this week's video. So let's get right into it. What does it even mean to forgive yourself and why should you do it? Well, the way that it is understood is that to forgive yourself is to let go. But really, the way I approach it is to ask yourself the question, why are you living with a grudge against yourself? How does that make sense? If it is your life, if it is your sole responsibility to be the best that you can be, if it is your duty to live and actually experience the greatness that life has to offer, why would you work against yourself? It is true that sometimes we may have done things that we are not proud of. Sometimes we make mistakes. Sometimes we put ourselves in situations that actually end up doing harm to others. Situations that we don't even understand, but we did it and we're guilty. So it can be understood that sometimes we may feel like we're not worth our own forgiveness. But we usually think that only because of the ideal of what we think we're supposed to be, rather than who we actually are. And sometimes those feelings of not wanting to forgive yourself comes from what we think that other people expect from us, rather than us actually facing ourselves and coming to that conclusion for ourselves. It's important to accept that, unfortunately, you are not perfect. And the best part is, any and every person on this planet makes mistakes. The rich, the poor, the tall, the short, the fat, the skinny, the young, the old, the black, the white, and we could go on and on and on. Everybody makes mistakes. Believing that you can never make mistakes or that your mistake is more special than anyone else's mistake is literally having a superiority complex over every person on this planet. Because like anyone else on this planet, in order for you to grow, you need experiences. Things happen and you learn from them. It is actually impossible to not make mistakes. Mistakes are a fact of life. Mistakes are probably the very thing that makes you human. So why work against your humanity by making a mistake or a blunder and then holding on to it as if it is the end of the world? It doesn't really make sense. Consider how much not forgiving yourself affects you down the line. Let's say you did something wrong in a relationship that caused that relationship to terminate. By not forgiving yourself, you are subconsciously inviting the same scenarios to happen in your future relationships. So there's now nothing to look forward to. And at the same time, you are not allowing yourself to have the closure from that past relationship which you believe you messed up so badly. So, there is no solace in your past. This simply means that you have created a cycle of gloom, like a perfect little hell for you to live in and walk around for the rest of your life. Why? Does it really make sense? Sometimes we don't forgive ourselves because we think that we lost everything worth fighting for. However, if you are alive today, that means that life itself does not agree with the way that you are thinking. It is important to accept and to remember that what is for you cannot pass you 
and what passes you is not for you, at least not for that moment. So why break yourself down for something that is not even there for you? Sometimes we make things much bigger than they actually are by overthinking it and replaying negative scenarios in our minds over and over and over again, when most of the time, things did not really happen the way you remember them. And even if they did, there are conversations that can be had or simply actions that can be done to help understand the truth of the matter in a more positive light. So why choose to live in that negativity? Well, actually, it's accepting that choosing to live in that negativity and lack of forgiveness is actually just a choice, like any other choice. Forgiving yourself is more important than forgiving anyone else, because once you free yourself of that contempt, you are freeing yourself from the shackles of expectations and misconceptions of who you are. And once you do that, you can be a better version of you, and thus love and be a better person for everyone else. As said earlier, you are not perfect and you don't know everything. Your peace is more important than driving yourself crazy, trying to understand why something happened the way it did. Not forgiving yourself can make you think that everyone else is thinking the same thing and are sharing the same type of negative thoughts and energy, when really it is often just you who are choosing to walk around with a dark cloud over your head. It can literally have you invent scenarios in your head about people and situations that don't actually even exist. You're thinking in your head, oh my God, for sure this person hates me because of this, that, and the third, or for sure I could never go back to this because some crazy scenarios that you're creating for yourselves, when really those people are probably just thinking, damn, that person must be having a bad day. Maybe I should just give them some space. And because you have not forgiven yourself, you may even take that as negative. So you're existing in the self-fulfilling prophecy of self-detriment by making the one choice to live with all of that pain on your shoulders. Stop trying to keep in contact with your perception of who someone is. They likely do not exist. Give yourself a chance and forgive yourself and open your eyes to the possibility of a new truth. Things are not usually as bad as you may imagine them to be. You can always do something. Always remember, you are the master of your reality. If you constantly think of pain and create pain for yourself, you are likely to continue to live in pain. No magical moment can come to save you. Do not forgive yourself because it sounds like the right thing to do. Forgive yourself because we have all fallen short of glory at some point, and even you deserve a second chance. Give yourself an opportunity to be. You deserve life like anyone else. Give yourself back that power. Forgive yourself. But that's what I think about it. Let's have a conversation about forgiveness in the comment section. How do you feel about forgiveness? Do you deserve it? And if not, why? I love reading your comments and I would love to answer and just really think about what you think forgiveness means to you. If you want to hear more of my thoughts and you enjoy these types of videos, leave a comment in the comment section and maybe suggest what the next one should be about. If you like this type of content, please do us a favor, hit the like button and share it with a friend. I'll see you here next time on the next episode of Conversations 
on Howell Consultations, the how-to to being true to you.